archaeologists and volunteers wait for hours, hidden in parked cars along a rural highway, before they spot movement. There's a deer coming into the far end of the woodlot. to take this puck. The group runs to safely capture the deer. The deer is stressed. <coughs> but a veterinarian monitors his pulse, temperature, and breathing. They'll sedate him if anything gets too high. There's a real sense of urgency among everyone here. A dike at the other end of the refuge is failing. And Jackie Ferrier says if it blows before the deer are moved, they'll die. We expect water to basically inundate the entire 2,000 acres no of the refuge at a level of between two and five feet. The group gets the buck into a crate. One, two, three. And begins the journey to another refuge 50 miles away. Once there, biologists weigh and release the buck. It's one step closer to establishing the population here. But Doug Zimmer says it's just the beginning. If everything goes well, we'll move enough deer, we'll resolve the issue, we won't have to do this anymore. That's if everything goes well. In my 30 years of doing this kind of stuff, I've seen everything go well a couple of times. Zimmer says if it doesn't go as planned, they'll go to plan B. What plan B is, he says, they haven't figured out yet. 